going on? It's Legend of Two Games, repping for real fans, real talk. I want to get into some NBA talk because I know everybody wants to talk about the powerhouses. Everybody wants to talk about the Lakers, the Clippers, right? What are the Rockets going to do now that they've made their move? What about the Nets, right? Can Boston contend? Are the Sixers ready to go? And I like all those teams. Don't get me wrong. But today I want to talk about some of the young guns, some of the, some, some of the upstarts, the teams that nobody's really paying attention to, nobody's really talking about, that ain't going to really be on your TNT Thursday night that often. But they're some pretty good teams, all right? Starting on the Eastern Conference side of things, as much as I want to put my Knicks in here, we're not ready for this conversation right here. I'm, I'm a realist, all right? We're not ready for this. But I will say there's a team, actually two teams in the Eastern Conference that I think could be a little feisty, and I, I expect them to at least make the playoffs. Will they go and become championship contenders? Not yet, but they're definitely playoff worthy. And my first team is the Chicago Bulls. I really like what they're building there. Wendell Carter was a good pick last year, right? We see this year now, I think Zach Levine's ready to go. We see Laurie Markkinen ready to go. I think Kobe White, the, the point guard they selected, is ready to go. And I think they got a nice young nucleus of guys that are coming together. And I think they could be pretty feisty. We know the Eastern Conference is wide open, right? As good as the Nets look on paper, they don't have KD yet. Milwaukee, do they have enough around Giannis? Boston, they brought in some new pieces to try to get it going again. And obviously, Philly's the favorite. But aside from those teams, it's really wide open on the bottom half of the playoff side of things. And I think the Bulls are going to be one of those teams that sneak in. My second team that I really like in the East that I think is going to get back into the playoffs that no one talks about, but they got really hot at the second half of last season, it's the Orlando Magic. They're another one of those young teams that continues to develop, continues to grow together. And we saw Aaron Gordon kind of take that next step last year as well. I think they're going to be better this year. I think they're also going to be one of those sneaky good teams early in the season. And I wouldn't be surprised if they position themselves somewhere around 6th or 7th within the East. Again, could they compete against the big dogs? Not yet. But those will be two teams that I think everyone's going to talk about at the end of the year and be a little surprised by how good they are, man. Legend of Two Games, Real Fans, Real Talk. Make sure you're tuning in every Thursday night. I'm going to fuck up. This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Get real with it, my son. Real talk, we as real as you thought.